hi everyone welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while like I literally like dropped three videos and then completely abandoned y'all for like a month I'm sorry about that I have been very very sick and we found out why I am sick we are expecting baby number three <laughs> guys I have this bittersweet feeling about this pregnancy and you know if you watch my previous video you already know that my mom passed away this February of this year so this is kind of one of those happy but at the same time it's like you know my mom she's been there you know through all my, my other births and all that and it's a little different and it's kind of it's been hard for me to be happy in the beginning because I'm still mourning her on top of that I'm going through this new pregnancy and then my husband and I we had our issues and it's just been a lot and on top of that I've been sick vomiting throwing up those pregnancy pregnancy symptoms you name it I had it um, I hit my second trimester now I feel I'm actually feeling much better and I don't wake up throwing up as much and you can just tell by the title like this pregnancy did save me from spiraling I feel like this was a pregnancy from my mom and you know it saved me let's just put it like that um, you know after my mom passed I've been like struggling a lot even though I've been going through grievance therapy we've been doing couples therapy and all that I still felt like it wasn't enough I was drinking more my husband noticed that I think I was becoming a hardcore alcoholic I was literally going through like two wine bottles within two days which is bad because I was able to like in a way kind of function because I'm like all right I have kids I still gotta function and you know I was I was becoming an alcoholic on top of that I booked to have plastic surgery I was ready to get my boobs done I was just like I was ready to be like whatever and just enjoy myself because I'm always that responsible person that's always taking care of everybody and it's like my my time of need I felt like I didn't have anybody to take care of me like I didn't feel like I had the support from my husband I didn't feel like I had the support from you know my dad my, not my siblings like you know yeah I had people being there for me but at the same time y'all know I just lost my mommy y'all still bringing out problems to me like I like I'm supposed to be done grieving already it's only been like what six seven months I'm supposed to be over it and y'all still bringing me y'all problems and it's like I feel like this pregnancy saved me because you know now that I'm not drinking I'm actually thinking clear <laughs> I'm thinking much clearly and you know I had to cut some people off in my life and I'll leave that for another video and it's, it's, a, it's a long story but I will share it I don't usually share my personal personal like business but I will share that video you just keep a lookout for that I promise I'm not gonna disappear and post it in a month it's gonna be sometime either this week so just look out for that but yeah I was spiraling I was spiraling really bad and I had to get a grip on the other videos I'm over there smiling and enjoying and being with my kids but I was spiraling like I'll show up and be a mom but behind closed doors I had to get it together and you know I look like I'm put together but I really wasn't because with the funeral you know my mom passed I was the one handling everything um, when she was in the hospital from the 1st to the 12th when she was in the coma I was sleeping in the hospital. I was there dealing with everything medical related to her, anything related to the doctor. I was on it. After she passed, I'm the one dealing with everything. Like when it, even when it came to her death certificate, like the funeral place couldn't even get that thing signed. I had to like step in, call the hospital, you know, try to get back, like bypass secretary, bypass doctors, try to get to the doctor to actually make them sign it. You know, when it came to planning, choosing everything for the funeral, you know, money going in for the funeral. I was dealing with everything and I always kept a calm and collective face and nobody cared everybody just like oh she's a strong one she got this she got this at the end of the day no I can't always be the strong one for the rest of my life I need a break at some point you know and I didn't feel like anybody was acknowledging that the fact that I need a break I was drained no one cared to even bother asking and it was just it was just too much and I got to that point where I just didn't want to be bothered sorry I'm spitting in this pregnancy like that's one thing that hasn't gone away is the spitting part but yeah I I was spiraling and nobody was there to catch me when I fall 
I wasn't looking for a handout. I was just looking for a shoulder to lean on and everybody's leaning on me and I, and I didn't have anybody to lean on. And, you know, I felt like this pregnancy is one of those like, now, oh, she's pregnant, don't bother her. Thank you. Oh, you know, I'm pregnant now, I can't drink. Like I can sit there and be like, ah, I'm gonna be sober. But then at the same time, it's like, I really can't drink. Like I have no choice but to be sober, you know? And, you know, my husband, he's much more hands-on with this pregnancy versus the other pregnancies. And, you know, he's been super, super supportive since we've been going to counseling. You know, he's been super, super supportive. And he finally, not even just him, we are finally having an understanding of each other because, you know, we got married fairly young. And, you know, we're just going with the motion. But at the same time, during counseling, we realized that we don't really know each other. <laughs> and we're literally learning about each other. And, you know, it's making the relationship stronger. And, you know, when it comes to our relationship, you know, a lot of people are, like, rooting for us. And, you know, I'm glad for that. Because there are some people that, you know, don't want to see other people in a happy relationship. And that's all right. You know, that's how you feel. You're upset about it. You know, you can't do nothing about that. But, you know, we actually have some people in our corners that's actually rooting for us for a healthy, prosperous relationship, especially since we have kids um together and you know we're expecting another one nobody wants you know nobody wants a divorce you know we see all these people divorcing now especially like you know celebrities that people idolize i don't idolize people marriages i don't i don't do that because at the end of the day you don't know what people are going through behind closed doors but you know this pregnancy this one's it saved me this is the that miracle baby and the crazy thing is this baby's going to be born projected due date. It's going to be born around the time when I buried my mom, but even if it comes two weeks early, it's probably going to be around the time she passed. But at the end of the day, it's still around the same time, the month that she passed. Unfortunately for my daughter, she's going to have to share a birthday month. I'm sorry. It's not mommy. It's your dad. But anyways, <laughs> you know, we're, we're all happy. You know, um, I feel like February, unfortunately for me, was going to be like one of those like months where I'm mourning, but at the same time, it wouldn't be fair for my daughter, you know, to mourn on the month of her birthday when I'm supposed to be celebrating her, especially since she didn't really had a birthday last, well, this year, she had a great birthday the first year. This year, she didn't really have a birthday and I feel bad, um, hence why we took the kids out of town. But, you know, next year, it's gonna be a big celebration, celebration of life, celebration of birth, you know, Maya's birthday, my mother's life, and you know, I just, I'm just taking everything as a blessing, and I'm super, super happy for everyone that's been reaching out, even my YouTube family, those that's been leaving all the sweet comments under my mom's video. I really, really appreciate it. I read all the comments. I try to reply to every single comment that anyone left under that video. I really appreciate you telling your story and telling me what you went through. It's really been helpful for me in my journey, and I appreciate every single one of you for reaching out to me. Even I have some friends now that still, you know, reach out to me knowing that my mom passed. And there's some of them that just, they forgot about it. They just think, ah, life is good. Like, for example, my godmother. She's not really my godmother, but this woman took the mic and went onto my mom's funeral, took the mic and said that she is my godmother. And my real godmother was sitting there next to me looking like, the hell? And this woman said, oh yeah, I'm her godmother. I'll always be there for her. First of all, I ain't hear from this lady in years. Sorry. I ain't hear from this lady in years. Let's start off with that. And she got the nerve to go on the mic and say she's my godmother. And you wanna know something? The last time I heard from her was three days after the funeral, and that was that. I ain't never hear from her again. I ain't hear from her daughter either, who was like, I'm your godmother, I'm your sister, I'm gonna be there for you, blah, blah. I ain't hear from her either. My real godmother, she still calls me and tells me all that nonsense. But anyways, cut this video short. Just watch the next video. You guys are going to see my gender reveal. As you can see, y'all know what I want. You know, not saying that a girl is a bad thing, but, you know, I love boys. My son is so sweet, y'all. But anywho, fingers crossed. Click on the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, more videos are coming, I swear, now that I feel better. More videos are coming. And I have some nursing videos that are coming also for my nurses out there. Thank you. Bye.